there is a dimension a lady was wired by god to make a man feel like a man if you don't do it is because of negligence not because you have not been equipped and that has nothing to do with seduction from your physical outlook let the man be proud of you not a lady that you just got married and the man says come and escort me somewhere you just dress as if you are going for a night vigil and he's looking smart looking like a young man you are there embarrassing him and he said honey you can just sit at the car honestly i'll be brief i'll just come and say no no i must come i want to see what you are hiding if nobody has told you i'm telling you now in the name of the lord it matters it matters ladies it matters and it starts from relationship are you a wife when was the last time you made the guy god sent to you feel like a king let me tell you in every brother there is a king it takes a wife to bring that king out are you getting me when you find yourself shouting at a guy and taking advantage of his niceness there are some brothers that are very cool-headed even if you slap them they won't do anything and you deceive yourself to think that because they are cool-headed they are foolish there is a lion in every brother there is a lamb in every brother keep the lion in the cage don't let it come out you won't like it you must make every guy feel like a king Vashti stop being a wife as a result she left the palace first she, she stopped being a wife when the king wanted to feel like a king she was not available and he sent her out and here came esther hadassah hadassah always made the king feel like a king she prepared a feast for him and he said what's the occasion for the feast she said nothing just heralding your royalty and the king said my goodness please do it again and then by himself he said what do you want to half of my kingdom a man will give you anything if you bring the king in him don't make requests until he becomes a king how many ladies have strangled the king dimension in their men you just come and say um do you know that that other brother bought me a laptop can you serve how many months six months you have been trying to buy a laptop one brother just came out just from church oh, no strings attached you are killing the king when there is no king in your kingdom enemies will come keep the king alive ladies keep the king alive there are some things ladies have been doing that a guy is tolerating it does not mean that's how he was designed to live you shout at a guy anyhow and speak to him anyhow he's supposed to see you by seven he comes by eight you don't give him room to explain himself let me tell you this no, 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 no. and you are acting nigerian film there there is a king in every guy don't take the generosity of any man for granted i'm sorry to say this many married women have taken their husbands for granted they do not exalt that king dimension when you got married to him you used to bring food in a tray and be very respectful now you just carry a bottle of juice as if you are selling it just drop it on the table and say um, there's rice in the kitchen and he will get up you see that's the thing with many men they will get up quietly and go and serve themselves but you are endangering your marriage you are endangering your relationship many ladies are embarrassed to be wives because it takes submission to be a wife if you are still driven by ego and i don't want to look cheap you will never be a wife to be a wife you must soil your hand and create a king out of that man but if you can be stupid enough to make that man a king he will be a fool for you that's his reward ladies say after me in the name of jesus shout it in the name of jesus I receive grace to be a wife indeed sisters hear me don't learn those jargons that you watch on tv there is a difference between secular relationships and marriages and kingdom relationships please don't let anybody confuse you a virtuous woman who can find the bible says her husband will praise her at the gates she will do him good all the days of her life can you honestly say from the day you started going out with that guy you have brought joy ask yourself have you brought joy don't lie from the time you started going out with the guy have you brought joy to his life or heartbreak 
his finances went down his reputation went down his spiritual life went down his ego went down his sense of purpose went down you are not a wife he that finds a wife you must be a wife to be found it's not marriage that makes you a wife when a man comes to you it's a sign that you have become a wife he that finds a wife not a woman there are many women there are few wives he that finds a wife number two mother watch this mother in one word a mother is the maker of the home the key word under motherhood is sacrifice there are many ladies who have paid the price to be wives they can give any guy the kind of love he wants they can cook for the guy they can do everything but they are not mothers ladies i challenge you to have an elderly woman in your life who will not feel embarrassed to teach you motherhood ladies i challenge you in the name of the lord do not allow westernization suck out the dimension of motherhood in you motherhood a man can build a house but it takes a woman to make a home a man cannot make a home a man can build a house and put chairs in it a home talks of the emotional climate creating the conducive atmosphere for love the conducive atmosphere for unity the conducive atmosphere for progress and peace is the responsibility of a woman i challenge the school of ministry and i said when i come to anybody's house there are three things ladies i will look at in your house to prove to me whether you are a mother indeed number one your kitchen your kitchen is a reflection of your motherhood ability kitchen that's where the meals are made right that's where the health of the people is preserved there are many people their kitchen is a mess there are many young ladies you dress well you wear new clothes but your kitchen is a mess five day old plates one week old plates roaming around in the kitchen here the sink is dirty you look at the cookers palm oil everything on it you see bread that has fungi to carry it and throw it you lift it you leave it there the trash can is filled with dirt you are not a mother you may be a good wife but not a good mother the Bible says she wakes up in the morning talking about her motherhood dimension while it is yet early and prepares something for the children Proverbs 31 and she comes to cover them to make sure they are warm in winter that's a mother a homemaker sisters are you mothers are you mothers indeed that's a question God is helping us to understand tonight many ladies are not mothers but you can be mothers if you make that decision tonight so your kitchen number two your toilet the toilet in many homes is a disaster a disaster plus plus disaster one universal towel used by everybody including visitors one universal sponge right a sponge that looks like a rag turn into pieces and the woman cannot buy another one listen let me tell you ladies there are some responsibilities that are not for men don't let anyone fool you if you see a man doing it he's doing it out of love he won't do it forever you can't expect a man to go to the market and go and buy new buckets and bring it back home and say i notice buckets are empty please don't insult the man there is a king in every man i'm not saying men cannot do it but what is your own room a child is running out of the house mucus everywhere torn trouser you see you see children running out of homes no clothes and he runs and hugs somebody outside and the man is feeling embarrassed and the wife is just looking won't you come in to come in and see the other things toilets you look at the toilet and people it is not flushed it's not clean there is no water people bath and they leave the remaining water there the second person comes to add his water on it and now baths all kinds of things happen come on let's tell ourselves the truth many homes have dirty toilets ladies make sure you are not praying for an award-winning man to keep him in that kind of atmosphere shout no way i hope so i really hope so 
how many ladies are not proactive they get up and go to the market only to shop clothes and hair and you cannot buy soap the man is rushing because he has to catch up with an appointment ah soap is finished and the wife said sorry honey and he now checks ah the towel this there's no water Merua has not come all kinds of domestic things you want the man to do everything no that's the dimension of a mother a man returns back from work tired and hungry and that's when the woman lazily drags herself trying to break pieces of eggs and, and open up indomie to make dinner and yet when they ask you who do you want to marry they say you know what i want to marry no are you preparing god is not a wicked man to carry his son that has been sweating in the vineyard and come and keep you and then you strangle him to death there are many men that are heartbroken as a result of the way their wives trivialize them please ladies listen god is speaking to us don't you ever if you if a man has not talked to you about it i promise you it's just because he's tolerating you it's not because he's enjoying it there are men who can just take up with anything but don't 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 push men to the wall it's god helping us and then number three your living room your parlor you enter the parlor and everything is scattered water pours on the ground the carpet is dirty pieces of paper around children roaming around everything is unkept the moment you own the fan you see dust all over the parlor and many mothers don't train their children how many ladies get up in the morning and know that part of their assignment is to make sure that their rooms are clean it starts with your own room now don't wait thank you for watching and if you like that content please subscribe